this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Sagittarius for the week starting the 21st of January. Now, this isn't any ordinary week. This is a special week of awakening, of transformation, of intensity, magic, and possibly mayhem. For you, it kicks off with a positive thing as Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, conjuncts the moon in your place of relationships. So there should be a kickoff to this week where you feel positive and optimistic about relationships and ready to jiggle and dance when it comes to love and feel very fabulous and good in yourself. And there could be a little bit of good news on the old love front. Now, combined with that, we have Sun and Mercury conjunct in the third, which is trining Jupiter and the moon. And that's allowing you to feel great about the way you communicate, very confident about the way you communicate, and on a mundane level, particularly flirtatious, you might be able to persuade and charm people. And as long as it comes from the beautiful depth of your beautiful being, you should find marvelous miracles coming your way this week. Now, there's also a grand water trine, which is quite intense and full on. It brings up emotions, it cleanses us, it moves us forward. For you, it's all about feeling possibly a bit overwhelmed. You've got it in the position of secrets, life, death, rebirth, jealousy, love, obsession, lust. A lot of emotions are being cleansed in that area. And that's trining Saturn. It's almost as if you're understanding from a higher perspective, although I hate the word higher, but you catch my drift, from a greater perspective, what your experiences have been in life connected to loss, death, new beginnings, pain in relationships, when you've been obsessed or out of control in a relationship, you're able to see what the spiritual message was, what your soul learned from that, and your eternal connection to those people. And you're also able to heal something in yourself when it comes to family, because Chiron is connected to that ground water trine. Chiron is the wounded healer. I believe this is an opportunity for you to cleanse, let go of, and heal something connected to family or home, as if it didn't happen in a way, as if you were literally reborn now, not necessarily in a new body, but your mind is new when it comes to your home and family, and you're letting go of anything that hurt you in the past. Very powerful, beautiful thing if you can do it. Now we end the week with the triple yacht. This is incredibly important because it has a flavor of the energy in December when all sorts was going on and we were awakened, our consciousness was shift. I don't like to get too spiritual with you because not everybody's into that, but I cannot avoid it in this situation because this is a time where we are all moving forward. And I can explain it to you like this. Back in the day, outside the Tower of London in England, they used to have heads on spikes. People thought that was acceptable for people to be hung, drawn and quartered. As a society, we've moved on. As individuals, we've moved on. We saw that now. You know, we would have, a, 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 we'd be traumatized from the inside out. In medieval times, it was normal. So there are times, and obviously we go through an evolution individually and globally, where we see things differently from a more empathetic view, from, from a view where our soul has grown. And I believe this triple yod is giving us that opportunity to move forward and to see things differently and to understand ourselves differently. For you personally, it's about your sense of adventure, your sense of groundedness, and your sense of spirituality. It's almost as if your awakening, your intuition, all the stuff that maybe you go, uh, yeah, right, I feel that, but I'm not listening to it. You're suddenly trusting more. You're suddenly seeing things as if, you know, your sunglasses have been taken off and it's a bright and shiny day. It's profound, baby, what can I say? Anyway, let me know what happens. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.